I'll rev your engine. What gear do you want to get to today? How did you sleep? Yeah, how much water did you drink yesterday? When I'm on holiday, people, I am really terrible with water consumption. So my water consumption has not, not, not been good for the last couple of days. A lot of, lot of holidays, a lot of stuff going on where I'm at. So, you know, I'm just saying, give yourself a break. Yeah. And consider those two main things. Yeah. The nutrients that you've taken in, the water that you've taken in your diet and the amount of sleep that you've gotten over the last couple of days to help you regulate where you should be for this workout. No weights rev. Are you ready? Let's get going. Pick something like cross training. If you've got a heart rate monitor, we are going to be doing some cardio and we are going to be doing some strength training today. All right, if you are standing up, join me on the ground. We are going to start off our stretching, our warm up on the ground. All right, do me a favor, come on to all fours. Make sure your knees are under your hips, your wrists are under your shoulders, your arms are nice and straight, your belly is pulled in so that you are flattening your lower back. There's the anterior pelvic tilt, yeah? especially in this bent knee position. And I want you to do some cat cow. So first let's drop the belly button, lift the chin, lift the pelvis, and then lift the belly button, drop the chin, drop the pelvis. Hold it there. And then let's go back into cow where we drop the belly button, hold it here. And let's go into cat where we pull that belly button in and hold it here. All right, now at your own pace, in and out of these movements. Just kind of nice movement. Think about your shoulders, your hips, your neck, in and out. Give me a couple of these, please. You can go nice and slow, or you can go nice and fast, however you feel this morning. Beautiful job. Find yourself in neutral. All right, I'm going to take my knees back ever so slightly, because I want us to drop those hips forward keeping the thighs on the ground. And then I want you to just kind of rock your shoulders and your hips from side to side, kind of rolling. So your thighs are rolling on the ground, but your pelvis is just above the ground. Good, arms are nice and straight. Excellent. Now I want you to roll your shoulders. So find yourself in the center and then just kind of roll those shoulders. When you roll those shoulders, you might lift the thighs off the ground a little bit more. Beautiful job. And then push back into child pose. Toes touching, knees wide enough apart so that there's space for your belly to hang between your thighs and forehead on the ground if you can. And I want you to kind of inch those hands forward so you're kind of reaching as far as you can. Beautiful job. All right, come back into that up dog or cobra. So pushing those hips forward. Excellent. That's it. All right, now we're going to tuck our toes to lift our knees and thighs off the ground. So now you're just on your knee, sorry, on your toes and your hands, and you're just gonna do that rocking. All right, and now we're gonna push back up into down dog. Butt high, legs as straight as you can handle, and I want you to walk the dog, meaning I want you to bend one knee at a time and alternate a nice flat, long back, as long as you can make it and then alternate between the walking of the dog. Give me a couple more like that. Your own pace, don't worry about it. All right, and now come back to center where you're pushing straight down, both legs as straight as possible. Hold it there, deep breath in. And on your exhale, nod, yes. Move that neck, move that chin. All right, find yourself in neutral. Big inhale. And on your exhale, nod, no. Excellent job. All right, back to all fours. Beautiful job. Move your hands over to the left side. We're gonna drive that right leg forward and back. Just getting some movement in that hip at your own pace now, driving it forward. Excellent, this is the third time. And then we're going to Walk the hands over to the right. Come to all fours, 
walk those hands to the right that way you have some room for the left leg left leg all the way forward all the way back your own pace doesn't have to be perfect you just want some movement in here i'm starting to get a little bit of a sweaty mustache i hope you are as well warming up that body excellent job all right come back to all fours cross your legs kind of take a look at what i'm going to do and i want you to roll yourself into a seated position still warming up still stretching grab your toes if you can't reach your toes your ankles if you can't reach your ankles your calves your knees all right and i want you to kind of down and up kind of just walking it out some oh stretching that lower back beautiful all right, now we're gonna do the same thing, straddle. So the legs as wide as you can possibly take them. Make sure those feet are flexed, hands out in front, and I want you to come down and up, easing into it. Beautiful. That's it. All right. Sit up nice and tall, please. Place your hands under your knees and help your legs kind of just bring them back to center roll it over onto all fours however you get there doesn't matter push back onto your feet come into a nice deep primal squat and when you're ready just drive it straight up into standing good very different warm-up for us okay take a nice little sip make sure you've got a towel nearby we're going to start with cardio. All right. Okay, we're going to build on our cardio. We're going to start, come back to me in five, four, three, two, one minute. And I just want you to kind of nice and easy. Now notice my toes stay on the ground and I'm just kind of doing a little bit of a hop. Notice my knees are bent, but they're soft. Okay. And maybe you can get a little bit more air. So these little mini hops. That's it. Mini hops. Just right here. One minute. Just going to hop it out. Beautiful job. 30 more seconds here. I'd like you to get a little bit of air. And at any point you feel like, okay, no, too much for me. You can just go back to keeping the toes on the ground. But try and get a little bit of air. Bend those knees, look at my hands, nice and shaky. Beautiful job. All right, we're gonna do a repeater. Right leg forward. Let's go, repeater knee. Now I want runner's arms. Notice where my hands are coming to. Past my shoulder. Want to isolate that right leg as much so it's just the left leg moving. 10 more seconds here. And three, two, we're going to switch it out, other side. Left leg forward. That's it. Minute two. Beautiful. Try and isolate the left leg now, just the right leg moving, but drive those wrists higher than the shoulder. All right, we have about five more seconds. We're going into a skip. Now we're gonna try and do that side to side. Three, two, one. Side to side. That's it. Third minute, right here. Now you can move forward and back. You can turn around if you want. Try something different. Again, we're getting a little bit of air here. Thirty more seconds. That's it. Side to side. This is still low impact because one leg is on the ground. 
even though you're getting some air. All right, repeater, right leg forward, let's go. Minute four. We have 30 seconds here. Try and drop that hip. 10 seconds. We have three, two, switch it out, other side. Drop that hip. Good job. Heading into our fifth minute, and we're gonna stop after that fifth minute. 10 more seconds here. Three, two, heading into our last minute. Back to that first move. Either you're just lifting the heels or you're getting a little bit of air. This is slightly more impact, good for the bones, okay? Keep the knees bent, elbows are bent. That's it, 30 more seconds. Not too crazy. That's it, come on, beautiful. If you're not getting air, can you get air? Look at how my knees stay bent. Just barely coming off the ground. Five, four, three, two, take a break. Excellent job. Rest it out right here. Wipe drink. One minute recovery. Okay, because we have no weights, we will be doing upper body on the ground, which means we will be standing up, down on the ground, standing up. That is part of the workout, the getting on the ground, the getting off the ground. So we're going to do some options together on getting on and off the ground. All right. Our minute is almost over. We have about 15 seconds left. If you need another sip, go ahead. Another wipe. And then come back to me. We're gonna begin in five seconds. Let's hip with a pot, please. Toes pointing straight ahead. Here we go. Squats all the way down and up. 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one more. Down hold, perfectly still. Reach the hands out at shoulder height. Good, hold it here. Don't come up, pulse for 10. 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, come up. Walk it back, walk it to me, hip width, 10 singles, let's go. 10, come on, nine, eight, seven, all the way down and up. Six, five, four, three, Two, one more, down and hold, hands at shoulder height. Don't come up, pulse 10. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, come up, walk it back, just releasing, walk it to me. Last time, 10 singles, let's go. 10, come on. Nine, eight, seven, six, you got this. Five, 
four, three, two, and one. Down and hold, hands at shoulder height. Pulse 10, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, come up. Walk it back, walk it to me. Right leg forward, come down. That's it. Okay, hands wide, push-ups. Are you ready? Same sequence, three, two, one, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, down hold. Pulse 10. Push up, push back into child pose. Hold it here for a second. Stretch those hands out. Round two, three, two, come up, set yourself up. It's gonna get harder. 10, 10, 10, three, two, one, let's go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, give me five more. Down hold. Ten pulses, ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Push up, push back into child pose. Take a moment, stretch it out. Good, last time. Here we go. Set it up for me, please. Remember how close your knees are to your wrists help make the difference. Too hard, bring the knees in. Too easy, bring the knees out. Three, two, one, 10 push ups all the way down and up. 10, nine, come on. Three more. Three. Two and one, down and hold for 10 seconds. Pulse for 10, 10, nine. Three, two, push up, push back, child pose. Excellent. All right, done that sequence, very good. Come up onto your knees. This time, left leg forward. Stand it up. One minute break. Good job. Heading into five minutes of cardio. Now, minute two and minute four are gonna change. Minute one, three, and five are gonna stay the same, right? Remember, minute one, minute three, okay? Those are gonna stay the same. The two and the four are changing. We're gonna keep it unilateral, all right? Meaning working one side at a time. All right, that will help expose any bias that you have, any favoring that you have. All right, okay, we have about 20 seconds left. I've given you a little bit more than a minute. Okay, get another sip. 10 seconds, wherever you're at, come back to me. 
start with the heels, legs hip width, soft bend in the knee, three, two, one. So just a bounce. It needs to be a bounce, right? It's not a heel raise quite. Heel raise would be a little bit more purposeful. Now, if you can get a little bit of air with the toes. Bounce back. Bounce to me. Slightly different focus on the front and the back of the leg. And now stay here. We have 30 more seconds. Clockwise turn. Good. Counterclockwise turn. Good. We have 10 more seconds. Stay facing me. We're going to anchor our weight on the right leg and we're going to just kick the left leg. Three, two, one. Just a kick. Now I want you to kick that at least hip height. If you can get a little higher, that would be good. That's it. At your pace. Notice I'm doing a knee kick. We have three, two, one anchor on the left. Kick the right. That's it. Come on, keep those hands up. 15 seconds. Minute three is the skip, where we go left to right. Five more seconds here. Come on, a little higher. Skip, side to side. Now I want a little bit of air. This is a lower impact because one leg is on the ground pretty much all the time. Switching it out, right there. Good. Skip back, backwards. Make sure you don't bounce anything behind you. Skip to me. Good. Clockwise, side to side. And then once you've done that, counterclockwise. Doesn't matter. It's okay. It's okay if you're turning a little slower than me. Good. We have about 10 more seconds here. We're going to head back into that kick. In five, four, three, plant the right, kick the left. Let's go. Now, hands up. Now, you want to go faster. That's cool. Want to go slower? That's cool. The cardio is not too intense today. We're kind of keeping it in a nice low gear. Up to you. You can always kick a little lower if you want. We have five, four, three, two. Kick the right. Come on, did you switch it out? Nice job. Those hands are up. That's going to just help make the heart work a little bit harder. 15 seconds. This is the end of round four. We have five rounds, five minutes. Come on, kick it out for me. Five, four, three, two. Back to that hop. Maybe some air. That's it. Take it back. Now, when you're back here, give me one big jump. Come to me. Yeah. When you're at the front, one big jump. Take it back. Soft knees. That's the key. One big jump. 30 seconds. Come on. One big jump. So that big jump will just make it a little bit more intense. If you don't want to do that, that's cool. Less than 20 seconds. Come on. Want to make it harder? You can make that a tuck jump. Driving the knees up. Up to you. Less than 10 seconds. Three, 
two, rest. One minute, well done. Catch your breath. Okay, same sequence of moves, singles, hold, pulse, three sets. Short break in between each set, just a slightly different move. Now we're doing sumo, legs are wide, toes are turned out. Get something to drink, we have less than 30 seconds. All right, 45 seconds, wherever you're at. Put it down, come back to me. Let's start setting up. So I'm gonna be at a diagonal just so that I keep my feet on my mat so it's not so slippery for me. My legs are wide, my toes are turned out. My knees are gonna track over my toes. In three, two, one, 10 singles. 10, nine, eight, seven, as deep as you can, six, five, four, take those knees out, three, two, give me one more, one, down and hold, right here for 10, nine, eight, chest up, look at me, look at where my back is, pulse, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, come up, squeeze it together, walk it out. Set it up, legs wide. In five, four, three, two, look at my chest, let's go. 10, nine, I am not doing this. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Come on, a little deeper. Three, squeeze it on the way up. Two, one more. Down and hold. Let's go, 10, nine, eight, seven, a little lower, six, five, four, three, two, pulse. Drive it up, Ooh, bring the legs together, walk it back. Last time, walk it to me, legs wide, toes turned out, three, two, one, Let's go. 10, nine, your last set of sumo. Eight, seven, six, five, four, come on. Three, you got this. One more. Down and hold perfectly, still chest up. Pulse, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, drive it up. Good job. Walk it back. Okay, legs hip width. You're gonna come knees over toes. Drive those knees forward and down. That's a way to get to the ground. Yeah. Tricep push-ups. All right. We've been doing a lot of tricep push-ups in our Monday, Wednesday, Friday class. Same thing here. Are you ready? Three, two, one, let's go. 10, nine, eight, keep those elbows close. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Take a look at me now. Look at how I'm gonna do the down and hold. Bring the chest forward. 10, nine, yes, eight, seven. Stay here, pulse 10, 10, nine, eight. Pull the elbows in. Five, four, three, two, push up. Back into child pose, forehead on the ground. Reach the hands forward. Well done. All right, can you make that set a little harder? by taking the knees a little further back. Here we go, round two, come back up. In three, in two, in one, keep those elbows close together, single time. 10, nine, eight, seven, 
six, five, four, three, two. Can you come down and hold with me in the front? Four, three, two, pulse. Two, three, four, five. Push up. Ugh. Push back, child pose. Oh, nice. Are you ready? Your last set of triceps. Okay, any variation you can manage. Oh, here we go. Come back up. Starting in five, four, three, two. Single triceps. Keep the elbows close. Let's go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Five, you got this. Four, three, two, one. Down and hold. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Pulse at the bottom. Let's go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Push back, child pose. Beautiful. All right. Take a look at me. Head up, chin up, come to all fours. Walk your knees in a little bit and push back onto your feet. Now we're in knees over toes. Yeah. Into a deep primal squat. Push yourself up. A second option to get off the ground. All right. You have a little bit more than a minute break. Round three. Yeah. Okay, why drink? We are heading into the cardio minute. One, three, and five are not gonna change. Okay, I'll give you some options if you want to make minute one, three, and five a little bit more intense. But I encourage you to work at the lower level today. Yeah, we don't want the heart rate too crazy high. We want to work at a slightly lower grade. There are benefits. There are benefits to working in different stages of heart exertion. All right, we're just trying another one. One way to alter that is time. One way to alter that is the movement that you do. Okay. Yep, or you could do the combination, change the movement and the amount of time. All right, guys, come back to me. Three, two, one. We're starting with that, like just that little like bounce. So it's not a heel raise, it's that bounce. And then if you can, get some air. All right, I want you right here. I want those hands bent, kind of loosey-goosey. I want you to get a little bit of air because we get a little bit of a plyometric air. Yeah, not too intense for the joints, but still beneficial. Joints and bones respond to pressure. Yeah. If we don't give it this additional pressure, this, this little bouncing, yeah, this exertion. Yeah. The body stops sending signals for the bones to grow, especially if you're a woman, perimenopausal, menopausal. Yeah, that lack of estrogen. Yeah, those, in, those changes in hormones cause changes in the bones. All right, are you ready? Round two is gonna be the repeater knee. Three, two, right leg forward, repeater on the right. I know, we've done it, yeah. Now you know what to expect, right? We're gonna switch out at the 30 second mark. We have about 15 more seconds here. Nice, easy pace. Maybe gear three, maybe. Nothing crazy, you should be able to talk. Changing it out in three, two, right leg repeater, come on, let's go. So you should notice that your breath is a little bit more, hmm, not, can hear it maybe, maybe a little ragged, but nothing crazy. 15 more seconds here. Round three is the skip, so we're doing that left to right. In three, two, 
Come on, skip it out. One minute right here. So remember, exercise also benefits the brain, not only the body. That's it. Right? Particularly releasing hormones, adrenaline, epinephrine. Feel good, serotonin, dopamine. So mood altering. That's it. Bounce it out. We have less than 30 seconds. And then we're gonna head into the kick. We're starting by bouncing on the right, kicking the left, okay? We have 10 seconds more of skipping. Three, two, left leg kick. Come on, where are those hands? Hold them up. 30 seconds on this left side. Excellent. We have about 10 more seconds here. Come on, kick a little higher for me. Three, two, right leg kick, let's go. Where are those hands? Up. Fifteen seconds here, come on. This is our fourth minute. One minute to go after this. Three, two, back to that bounce. Get a little air. Both together, right? Both together. I don't want to see this. I want this. Both together. That's going to give you that little bit of plyometric. Knees are bent. Wanna add in, do the jump, do the tuck jump, up to you. How are you feeling this morning? That's it, come on. Oh, we're at the 32 second mark, less than 30 seconds to go. Can you speed it up? Fifteen seconds. Come on. Five, four, three, two. All right. One minute. Okay. Third round of strength. Now for this third round of strength, we're going to do unilateral legs. So it means we have to do the right and then the left, okay? This is our last round of strength. And then we're gonna do an upper body strength on the ground, but it's gonna be also focus and core. All right. We have about 15 seconds. Take your last sip and wipe. And then come to the front of your mat. Legs are hip width apart. We're starting in about five seconds. Let's prep it. We want to take the right leg back. That right heel gets off the ground. Think train tracks. Ten single lunges. Let's go. Square those hips. I see this. I want to see this. Yeah, let's go. Ten. Nine. Now, if you can tap that knee, go ahead. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Push through both legs. Four, three, two, give me one more. Now come down halfway and hold it. 90 degree here. Don't come up, pulse. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Push straight up, bring that right leg forward, shake it out. Legs hip width, right leg back, same right leg. Right heel off the ground, square the hips. In three, two, 
One, 10 singles. 10, nine, eight, push through both legs. Seven, six, keep your chest up. One more. Down halfway and hold, 90 with that front knee. Pulse, 10, nine, Drive it up, right leg forward, shake it out. Last time, right leg three, two, hip width apart, right leg back, right heel off the ground, 10 singles, let's go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, Good job, one, come down halfway, hold. Chest up. Pulse. Come up, legs together, walk it back. Walk it forward. Good, legs hip width, left leg back. Left heel off the ground. Square the hips. Three, two, one, ten singles. You're coming as deep as you can. Good. Now you're only coming halfway. Hold for ten. Pulse 10. Up, legs together, shake it out. Legs hip width, left leg back, square the hips. 10 singles, let's go. Halfway hold. Ten pulse. Come up. Oh, shake it out. One more set. Square the hips. Left leg back. Left heel off the ground. Three, two, one, ten singles. Two more. One more. Down halfway, hold. Pulse. Come up, legs together, shake it out. All right, another way to come down to the ground, legs wide, come back to me, we're not done. Drive the butt down, good. And then one knee at a time, good. All right, guys, we are almost done. We have some plank work to do. All right, you ready? Starting in five seconds, gonna do a 30 second hold. Three, two, one, 30 second hold. That means you're on your knees or your toes, your arms are nice and straight. Turn the inside of the elbows to face each other. That way you spread your shoulder blade across your back. Suck your belly button in and push away from the ground. 15 seconds. Now you're not gonna take a rest, okay? We're gonna come into bear and then plank, all right? 
Take a look, right leg first. Right, left, do you see my knees are off the ground? Four more with the right. Right, left, it turns so you can see. Right, left, two more. Let's go, right, left, one more right, left. One more, right, left. Okay, now five on the left, left, right. Knees stay off the ground. It's a little bit more challenging. Three more like that. Start with the left. Ooh. Two more. Come on, don't lift the butt too high, don't drop the butt too low. Good job. Hold it here, 30 seconds, and we are done. Plank position, so if you wanna to drop to your knees, you can. That's 10 down, 20 to go. Turn the inside of the elbows to each other. 15 down, 15 to go. 20 down, 10 to go. Five, four, three, two, and release. Stay right here on the ground. Big toes touching, spread your knees apart. Come into child pose, forehead on the ground. Make sure there's enough space between your thighs for your belly, your torso to hang between those thighs. Maybe it's touching the side, maybe it's not. Maybe you can open it even a little wider. All right, deep breath in and a forceful exhale. Oh. Let's do that again. Deep breath in. Now let me hear that exhale. Oh. One more time. Big inhale and exhale. Good. Keep your forehead on the ground. You're going to take your hands back to your feet, palms up to the ceiling. Let the shoulders kind of hang over those knees and just relax right here. Just kind of relaxing that upper body. Big breath in. Forceful exhale, let me hear it. Oh, big breath in. Let it out. Oh, one more, big breath in. And on this exhale, come to sitting. Beautiful, push yourself up gently. Oh, take a moment, bring those legs in a little bit. Okay, excellent. You should be really sweaty. Flip your grip for me, please, so that way we can stretch out those shoulders, those biceps. Now pull your shoulders away from your ears. Good, right here. You should feel a nice stretch on the forearm as well. Excellent. And let's shake it out. Good. Let's stretch out the chest. So, palms touching, bent elbows, and then I want you to open, push the chest forward. So bring your wrists so they're behind the shoulder. Squeeze the shoulder blades together and then lift your chin so the front neck is nice and long. Hold it there. Good. Now bring your head to neutral so you can look at me. And now we're just going to take the hands, open them, take them further back. Keep squeezing your shoulder blades. Good. And shake it out. Excellent. Let's stretch out the tricep. We're almost out of the sitting position. Bear with me. If you can't, you can come to a kneeling. Excellent. Other side. Good. We're going to stretch these legs out on the ground. So find yourself on all fours. Beautiful. Bring your right leg all the way forward to it's next to the pinky. Bring your right knee so it's touching that right tricep, that right shoulder. And take that left knee a little further back. Did you see what I did there? Take a look at this leg. Look at what I do. I push it back further. So I allow my hips to drop. We're going to hold it here. Chest up. I want to be nice and proud. Now we're just going to let that right knee hang open. Maybe we're going to roll to the side of the foot. Up to you. Good. Bring that right knee back to that right shoulder, right tricep. Back on the flat foot. Now take that right hand to the outside. So now you're framing that leg. We're going to straighten it, get a hamstring stretch. Good job. Hold it there. Nice deep breathing, nice steady breathing. Beautiful. And release it. Come back to where we were. Bring that right hand to the inside. Take that left leg straight back so we're stretching out that calf, all that bouncing. 
Beautiful job. Good. Now I'm going to turn to the side. Maybe you don't. Maybe you need to. And I want you to open your legs wide. So do you see how my knees are wider than my hips? Just stretching out that inner thigh. Hold it nice and steady. Let the hips drop down through the center. Now push those hips back one inch. Ooh, a little bit more intense, isn't it? Yeah. All right, come out of this. It's kind of tricky to come out. You kind of have to suck the belly in and lift one knee at a time. Excellent. If you're not facing me, face me again. Let's bring that left leg all the way forward to that pinky. Get the left knee to touch that shoulder tricep. Lift that right knee and take it back so you sink a little bit further. Let that left knee drop open. Bring it back. Left hand to the outside. Organize yourself. Frame that leg. Straighten it, hamstring. Hold it here. Back to that beginning posture where we're dropping into the hip. Bring your left leg inside. Take that left leg all the way back. Calf stretch. Beautiful. Excellent job. Okay, come to all fours for me, please. And how, we did it in the beginning, so let's do it again. We're going to open the knees a little bit wider, cross the legs over, and then I kind of want you to roll back over those legs. Can you do that? Yes, all right. Okay, nice long legs in front. Grab those toes. Remember, if you can't grab the toes, that's okay. Ankles, calves, knees. And I want you to forward fold. But this time, head up, chin up. Flat back. Excellent. Straddle forward fold. Take the legs nice and wide. Come down as low as you can, as much as you can, flattening that back. Think chest down, chin up. Beautiful. Walk your hands back so you're sitting up. Place your hands under your knees to help support the legs. Come into a nice, easy position. Excellent job. Sit right here, take a moment, place your hands on your knees, feel the body. Good, let's do a nice little neck roll, nice and easy, starting from the right shoulder, roll it all the way to the left, and then back to the right, keeping it in the front body, just kind of oscillating. One more time, to the left and back to the right. Beautiful. Now drop your head back. Keep it to that right, and then you're gonna roll it to the left, the back side of the body. Back and forth at your own pace, maybe a little slower, maybe a little faster. And then wherever you're at, find yourself in neutral, looking at me, sit nice and tall. Big inhale, and exhale. Two more times, big inhale, and exhale. One more time. Big inhale. Drop your head back. Look at your hands as they form prayer. Bring your hands down to the center, to the heart of the matter. Thank you so much for working out with me. Every minute counts. Every minute counts. Oh, really appreciate you. I thank you so much for spending time with me. I hope this workout was a challenge. I hope it was different. Hope it kept you engaged. And I hope you got some bouncing in there so for some plyometrics. Have an awesome day. And don't forget, I see you tomorrow. Bye.